All right, this is a triangle, but it's been shifted on the graph so that the 90 degree angle is shown right here. By the way, we don't technically care if this would make it an actual right triangle. We just want to know that you guys can find the area of a triangle if we've been given this information, all right? So the area of a triangle, hopefully we remember, is one half times the base times the height because it's really just half of a rectangle or a parallelogram. And when we look at the base and the height, we're looking at the two parts that are creating a 90 degree angle. So for example, we can say the base is that 80 foot length right here. And then we can say the height also is that 120 foot length along the side there. That 144 is not even important for you guys. It's just meant to confuse you. All right, so another way we can write this is, and I don't care which one you prefer, just prefer one. 80 times 120 over two. So we can cut one of these in half and then multiply or multiply and then cut it in half. What do you guys prefer? All right, so let's do 80 times 120. And we'll just have zero in the ones. So let's look at the tens. Eight times zero is zero. Eight times two is 16. Carry the one. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. When we add these, we just get the same thing. 9,600, and that's our numerator here. But it's, we're gonna divide it by two. So we can do that like this. 9,600 divided by two. 2 goes into 9 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract. We get 1, 6. And uh, 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 times 8 is 16. So when we subtract, we get 0. When we carry down these other zeros, it won't matter. It will just be 2 more zeros here. So the area of this triangle... I guess we'll need that 144 for the perimeter. But the area specifically is 4,800 square feet. Now the perimeter. So we're just going to add all the lengths together on the outside of the shape. So we got 120 plus 80 plus, oh man, plus 144. So we get a 4, 14, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 344 feet.